Welcome to Chief Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip is actually about alcohol and using it in conjunction with acrylic paint. Now, you ever have one of those things where like it's an aha moment, but you're like, wait a minute, how did I not know this? How did I get through my whole life and not know this? This is one of those for me. Uh, I went to a workshop years ago and it was about acrylics and layering and stuff. And I was just like, okay. Um, and had no idea what we were really going to be delving into. But um, this thing kind of amazed me. Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit about how this works. Now, am I saying that this piece, as it stands right now, is the end all be all? No, I am not. I'm just showing you the technique and part of the process. These are just layers. Okay, so what I had here was um, some ex existing layers of watercolor and acrylic on a Kilimanjaro bright white 300 pound block. Okay, so we have an image of what that looked like prior to me doing all this stuff. So that was completely dried and had been dry for a while. And then we took a palette knife and then applied some golden heavy gel gloss on the top of it. And as you can see from the, the images, you can't, you can't tell that much about what's going on because the gel gloss is, you know, it's like kind of white, it looks kind of nebulous and you can't really see a whole lot of detail. So it's kind of like one of those things where you have to just kind of forgive, go with the process, let it be, you know, you could always get, you know, do different stuff. Like while it was wet, you could take the, the end of your brush and draw into it with some textural line and, and stuff like that. You could go any direction. Okay, so then I let my gel gloss dry for at least a couple of hours because it needs to be really, really dry. Not like dry to the touch because you're going to be activating paint on top of it. You don't want it to, you know, you know, <laughs> move around and then mix with the paint that you're putting on. But then what I did was I took some Sennelier acrylic and also some, um, some of the metallic uh, iridescent acrylic and just put it on the top. So we've pretty much obliterated what was underneath there. So you can't really, I mean, you can't see much of anything underneath of what originally existed, okay? So here's the setup. We now have multiple layers of color and interaction. We have the gel gloss in between that kind of protects what was down there before. So how do we, with acrylic, dig down and get back to some of that interesting stuff that we had going on before? I'm gonna show you how. So we just have some paper towels and we have just straight rubbing alcohol. This is 70%. It doesn't matter, like, if you want to use the high test, that's cool, too. Um, not crucial. So we're going to totally douse this paper towel and get it soaking wet with alcohol. And we're going to ball it up a little bit, almost like a tack rag or anything, like if you've done some furniture refinishing. And we're going to come back and we're going to erase this acrylic. So these layers that we have on over the top of this, we're going to take off with the rubbing alcohol. See, it's coming off real easy. And we're just gonna make sure it's nice and soaked. And then what you're basically doing is you're taking the color off of the high spots of the gel and allowing it to function like almost like a piece of glass. Um, so you're just keeping the most dramatic stuff that's happening in these undulations of the gel. And also getting a little bit of a head rush in the process, um, which is unintentional. But um, you can just keep scrubbing and keep scrubbing until you get down to the part you really like. So like right now, we've got some cool stuff happening with um, the iridescents that are settling into the low points. And then we've got that blue that was in the initial layer showing up underneath. So you can just kind of keep playing and keep playing and like expose the parts that you really, really liked 
that were underneath there. And then once all of this is dry, like let's say that you get down to something you're like, oh, that's magic. I love it. Look how rich and beautiful this is. You know, you can actually play that up and add more layers on top. Define that area with some value. Um, come back and put some line work on top of it if you really want to. The cool part is with this nice 300 pound base, um, you can play and play and play and play and it's gonna handle every last bit of that. And this gel is going to allow you to um, really just go in and play and explore and expose the parts that you really, really like. And you, like right here, we have this thing that almost looks like a cloud form that's showing up and that's beautiful. So definitely try this at home. Um, this is super fun. It costs practically nothing, just the cost of some paper towels. And it's a real, a really interesting way to create rich, powerful backgrounds, which things can happen on top of, or just really, really loose, abstract interactions of color and texture. So try this um, immediately. Um, it's super fun and we hope that you will enjoy. Mm -hmm.